discretion is advised. Previously on Couple. Welcome to Anguilla. <laughs> Twelve beautiful and accomplished women came to paradise looking for the perfect man. A constant stream of eligible guys arrived by helicopter. This is the most amazing way to have men literally brought to you. Oh my. Lindsay and Alex had an instant connection. Yeah, I'm like blushing. <laughs> and were the first to couple up. <laughs> Their playful relationship has been steady. Hashtag married life. Cheers to Alex and Lindsay. But is Alex ready to leave his past lifestyle and commit to Lindsay as his only girl? I just always get hurt. It's been a long time since I put effort into a single girl. <laughs> Ashley and BT developed a deep bond right from the start. My relationship with Ashley is absolutely amazing. I'm falling for her completely. BT! He is one hunk of man. But BT's anger issues... Baby, I want to ...and emotional scars from war... And it's something that I'll live with for a really long time. ...have weighed heavily on Ashley. I will never be able to put myself in his shoes, and that scares me a little bit. Lisa and Ben caused the scene when they swapped partners and got together. No way. I like Taylor, but I think Ben is very charming and sexy, and I want to get to know him a little bit better. Their strong physical attraction has been undeniable. Ben and Lisa, they're always sneaking off to have sex. <laughs> is it just lust, or is it real love? I think we're at the point where we're starting to consider, do we commit, or do we not commit? Alicia found herself a younger man with Tyler. With Alicia, I can see a future. <laughs> But can she accept their age difference? I'm the type of person who needs way more. I don't know if he's ready for something so serious. What do you want to name your children? Walker, Texas Ranger. <laughs> Alex arrived to Anguilla with high hopes. <gasps> hey, how are you? Hello, this is my man. <laughs> Bye. But her journey to find love has seen its share of heartache. I chose Alicia. I just wish I would have known like what I could have done differently. I don't know if there's going to be anybody else that I feel that strongly about. <laughs> a surprise romance with Jeffrey Blossom. Jeffrey is showing me things and like treating me a certain way that no other guy in my entire life has done for me. Will their connection be strong enough for them to take the next step together? <laughs> Everything is coming to a head now. Things can change. Is this someone that I can see myself marrying? T.T. and Brandon had chemistry from the start. <laughs> I'm, like, going crazy. If I ask you to kiss me, would you kiss me right now? But will their most recent fight be their last? You're being so sensitive, we don't have to be that sensitive. Don't say that. I'm feeling defeated. I have no idea what I can do to fix it. Tonight on the season finale. Well, guys, your time in Anguilla has now come to an end. What? This is it. Tomorrow, you guys will make your final choice. Did we find love or did we not find love? I'm seeing this as a wake-up call. Only you guys can decide what you want. We will leave the island with a broken heart. What is TT going to do? TT not showing up to the helicopter has my mind racing. And who will meet up at the helicopter and leave together? Couple. Trying to have a conversation with you. I really feel strongly towards TT. I think she's an amazing woman. I just want her to know that I'm willing to make it work. I'm willing to talk it over. Um, you know, clearly we we had some misunderstandings yesterday. You know, I want to apologize if I made you feel like I was challenging you too much, but it wasn't that. It was more of me trying to get to know you and, you know, trying to learn you more. I feel like we go through these disagreements, you know, it, it only makes us stronger, you know? And I don't want you to ever feel like you can't express your feelings to me. I want you to feel safe. I want you to feel comfortable. 
And, you know, I definitely want to hear you out. Your point of view matters to me. I just wanted to clear that up, but I sincerely apologize if I make, made you feel some type of way. To hear you say that is it's great to, to know that you feel that way. Um, I think when we go through these disagreements, even though we're upset with each other, I still miss you in that moment. It just goes to show that, um, you know, my feelings for you are real. And I knew that love wasn't easy. And that's one of the things I love about love is that, um, you know, you have to fight for it. And, you know, I think that's what I'm here to do. You know, I don't want to give up on on you or on us. I just thought that this was a disagreement between me and Brandon that we may not be able to overcome. But to hear him apologize, it made me feel like loved, you know? Can we move on? Can I get no fingerprints or it's too early? No, you can get no fingerprints. All right, cool. I'm relieved. I got my TT back. It's, I feel amazing again. She is a spatula, not a fork. Well, I never came into this saying I could cook. I just go to really good brunch places and I let them cook for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was my answer. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was going to eat them. We've been in Anguilla for a while. Here it's kind of easy, it's so romantic and fun. Everyone's kind of caught up in the fairy tale and the bliss of how everyone will work. But once they get home, that will be the final test. Hey. Good morning! Hey. Good morning! Hey. What's up, guys? How are you guys doing? Good. Well, today is going to be an amazing day. And today is all about the ladies. But we wanted to bring in some reinforcements. So, you know what? Let me not talk about it too much. I have a surprise delivery for the ladies, all right? to see my best friend in the whole entire world. She knows me better than anybody knows me. This is Alex! How's it going? I'm Alex. Oh my Alex. god, you're so cute. <laughs> Guys, we're not done. I'm still here, which means there's more fun. Come on in. My sister means the world to me. You don't realize like how badly you miss those people in your life when you just need to talk to someone that knows you and that can understand you and read you. since the notebook and I'm actually getting teary-eyed <laughs> watching this. Obviously, today is a big day. 
you know, in real life, when you're dating someone, you ask your mother for their opinion. You ask your best friend or your brother, and that's what this morning is all about. This is all about commitment now, okay? So these people are going to be in your lives, and we want to make sure you have all the tools necessary to make the right choices. But you don't have all day. You just have a few hours, so spend the morning getting to know your significant other's loved ones, all right? Enjoy yourself and have a great morning, guys. Pop the top. I will pop the top for you beautiful ladies. I have that super close relationship with Lindsay. We've been best friends for 12 years and we've been in it together from day one <laughs> through every relationship. I've been there. Cheers. Cheers. Danielle, so Yay. nice to meet you. I'm a hard critic, but especially with Lindsay because I care about her so much. How old are you? So I'm 26. Older than 26. Her. Yeah, she's like, oh. That was kind of what I was awesome. worried about initially. How old I was? You were 26. And for me, like a big thing is like I haven't been in a relationship for five years. All I've done basically is travel and play music. So did you come into this looking for a relationship or I, more for the adventure? I came into this for the experience and I knew that I would be able to meet an incredible person. It's been great and we've shared so many laughs. Like, like we're having fun, like we like each other, but like does he really want to continue dating me when I get home? This is what makes me cry here. <laughs> I definitely am guarding my heart. It's because I know the feeling of like being heartbroken. Is he really, really ready for a relationship? Does it feel real or do you feel like you're in, like it's kind of fantasy land? Mm -hmm. One, yes, it is real. Um, but this is such a new thing for me. And right. I'm being so real, like it is like, she I went from zero not, to 100, right. I have not dated. You're not a relationship guy. Not a relationship guy. If you're surrounded by girls that are gushing over you because you are the rock star in the band and you know, you get a lot of attention. Are you gonna be okay with, you know, just being with one person? She's always the one getting hurt. She wears her heart on the sleeve and she loves so big and so deep all the time. It is a scary and kind of like uh, moment, you know, when a girl cries in front of you, it makes me just feel a little bit uncomfortable. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad you're here and you can get to know Jeffrey. Taylor's met all my exes, so she knows what I've gone through and what I'm looking for and what I need. So it is so important for her to meet Jeffrey and for me to kind of explain to her like where I've been at. We're, you know, building a friendship and then it's definitely gotten romantic, so tell Taylor some of the cute things we've done. <laughs> oh. He's the most romantic guy I've ever met. He is a son, okay. um, a three-year-old son named Valentino. <gasps> Isn't that cute? I like this guy, but I knew that the the faith thing was like going to be an issue for That's me. So I, issue. I just kind of like let it go. But I would always talk about. But faith is very important to faith you, right? Faith is extremely important. Okay. God and you are Jesus a Christian. Christ, I'm not. I don't label myself. Oh, you don't label Christian, yourself. No. That doesn't mean I don't have the same morals and values. But I never got to sit down with Alex and explain that. I think Alex needs a guy who is very faith based. It was so good meeting this. you. It was a pleasure meeting you as well. Very set in his ways, knows what he wants. Bye, lady. Bye. Bye. Thank you. You know me. You know my struggles that I've already struggled with dating and, you know, and all the things that I've, like, I've been compromising on and I don't want to compromise on it anymore and how hard it is for me to find someone that, like, I'm physically attracted to that has a personality that I'm looking for. Like, you know all those things. And so, um... I mean, I think with your parents' perspective, your perspective, my perspective, you cannot compromise on faith. Right. That's eternal. I'm for sure considering Taylor's advice. I mean, she knows me better than anyone else here. And if she says there's a red flag here that you need to pay attention to, I got to listen to that. What do you guys really think is going to happen once you two make it back home? Yeah. Honestly, I don't have any worries. Uh, we've had several, you know, disagreements. It's like, we're done, you know, you give up. But it's great that we can face adversity together and get through them. Well, it was nice meeting you, nice talking to you. <laughs> See you in a minute. Okay. You know, you guys are here and everything is great, but my biggest concern is that you're getting to the point where you're gonna open your heart, because I know I always have that concern where you open your heart and then you don't know what they're about to do with it. So Tyler, 
Tell me what was your first impression of my daughter? First day, she came in in a red, hot Mexican dress. <laughs> and I just subconsciously said, winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> So you're 24? Yes, yeah, going to be 25. I got the youngest man in the house, Mama. <laughs> no. We have a big family. And yes, yeah. that's what I liked about him is he was also very family oriented. Yeah, we're a super close family. So I see them probably once every three weeks to a month. Uh, After talking with Tyler, I go away with a lot of questions in my head, like, is he mature enough? Is this long distance relationship going to work? But at the end of the day, it seems like a really nice guy. I, I trust my daughter. You have to follow your heart, and you have to make those decisions on your own. Don't worry. Promise, Mama, I'll be smart. So, Paul, how was your flight in? Well, it was pretty good. Yeah? So how'd you guys meet? I'm going for the hard hitter right away. Yeah, why not? So how do you feel about my sister? You think you could have a good relationship with her? Wow. Like, no, there's no warm-up with your brother. It's just like, <laughs> no, let me it. know. We connect at a real cellular level. Like, we like each other a lot, and we make each other laugh con constantly. Do you see this as a serious relationship? That's an easy question, absolutely. And how old are you? 35. You're 35. Lisa... You're 26, so she's much younger than you. She's still kind of like the little baby of the family. My mom worries about her all the time. You know, she's still very supported by our family. I want you to understand that, you, that your sister's with, like, a man. But just understand something, that you still will kind of be under our family rule. I don't want to be under anybody's rule. I think Paul is trying to say that they want to make sure that their baby is going to be taken care of. It's really hard to get approval from my brother. He's asking him so many questions. I feel like Ben feels uncomfortable. I feel uncomfortable. This isn't going well. She might have to come work for you. <laughs> this is why I never bring guys home. She's been like a rock for me out here. I did six and a half years in the Army. I'm just not used to being in this kind of environment. And she's just been like, you know, just mellowing me out. And, you know, I, I don't know. It's been different. Yeah. Is it real? Like... Oh, it's 100% yeah. real. It was real from the get-go. It was just a different connection. And, you know, we, we while we don't share a room, we do make sure we have pillow talk, like, every yeah. night. We yeah. really talk about everything. There's something different. Like, even just, like, your hand... Like, you are so comfortable. Then she just turned to mush. <laughs> I think that Ash and BT fit really well together. It was super sweet. It's just like undeniable chemistry. It just looked natural. Okay. Bye, babe. See you soon. <laughs> now I'm just looking forward to sitting down with my sister, getting her opinions, as if it was just the two of us at home. Yeah. It's like he's just got so many, many amazing qualities. He started a nonprofit called uh, Vet Sports. He has modeled because obviously his body is like sick and <laughs> um it's been through a lot in military life and his accident happened two days before he came home wow there are some little things he's got a, a very you know strong personality sometimes he seems like a little aggressive is it because it's the best intention or is it like anger there's been like a couple little issues um but I, I don't want to let this go. Like, I have, like, so many feelings for him. And I'm, like, scared to um, <laughs> think that there are things that, like, are just going to take it away from me. I know. Because I don't want it to. <laughs> I just, and I, feel, I can read that all over like, you. Like, I, I do feel, like, so safe with him and have so much fun. And I know. Everything. Like, I don't, <laughs> I just, like, don't want it to end. I know just like really like so much about him. I think it comes down to you just always being honest with yourself. Hope you all had a great time with your loved ones. We just wanted to make sure that you guys had all the tools that you needed to make the right decision, all right? So talk amongst yourselves, have fun with it, think about it and, and process it. And uh, I'll see you guys later on, okay? All right, guys. All right, later. Bye, Tara. Oh, oh, there's somebody else at the door. Oh, oh my God! What? <laughs>
man. I really didn't expect to see Joey. So well, good to see you. It was just like pure happiness. This is my best friend. Hey guys, this is Joey. <laughs> He's a guy that I would come to in this exact moment and get the approval of Lindsay and my relationship. Aww. 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 I miss you, dude. I know. I was hoping it'd be you, man. No, I wouldn't miss it. Seeing my dad walk through the door kind of just made all my stress just go away. He's somebody that I turn to when I need advice. <laughs> Old man, how'd you get a <laughs> <laughs> He's my best friend. He's, he's my dude, and uh, it's just great to see him. I love you, dude. I love you, dude. <sighs> Come on in. <laughs> 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 Too much? No, it's like what I wore yesterday. <laughs> I see my father. I was uh, happy that it was him that came through that door because I really wanted his advice on Lisa. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, what's up, what's up? <laughs> Look at you, look at fly. <laughs> It's good to see my cousin Jordan come through the door. He knows me pretty well, so it'll be interesting to see how him and TT interact. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're gonna be here. Ah, my crewmates are here. <laughs> Josine. This is Josine, it's my roommate. So Justine is my roommate, but we're like peanut butter and jelly. We make a great team. And when we're in Miami together, it's like the Blues Brothers. And he's like the king of Miami. Yeah, Welcome. Right. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's my baby. <laughs> When my mom walked through the door, I felt ecstatic. I, I can't even describe it. I know I just, I was trying to hold back tears, but I started to, to cry a little bit. Hi. Hi, everybody. This is, um, this is Alex. Hi. <laughs> nice, to nice to meet you. All right, guys, the clock is ticking. You have to the rest of the afternoon get to know each other. All right, guys? Thank you. Thank you. Right. Of course, guys. Enjoy. After you pop. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> You live at home, you have your own apartment? I have my own apartment. My parents live like 45 minutes north of Manhattan. The thought of leaving New York, leaving your parents, leaving your friends? I don't plan on being in New York forever, but I don't plan on being anywhere permanently. I'm still young and I'm still, I'm very open to experiencing new things. I really like Ben, so meeting his dad is making me nervous. I obviously want him to like me. <laughs> because at the end of the day, that's whose approval you're going to want. Well, it was so nice to meet you. Oh, it was a pl the I'll pleasure was give, mine. I'll give you and Ben some time to chat. It remains to be seen whether Lisa is the right woman, but Ben, at 36 years of age, it's time to uh, get real. You know, we talked about this a lot, that you need someone that is an enabler to allow you to reach your full potential and be a partner, not to be um, an accessory. I feel like you're, you're, you're not saying something. Um, you know, it's not the first time that I dated long distance that I ended up getting into a relationship. Right. Although, like, the different levels of maturity were the reasons why. Well, yeah, she was 13 years younger than you. I don't know how you feel. Say what you mean. I don't know how you feel about Lisa. Okay, you know, you need someone who's going to contribute. I see both sides, you know, I see a future with Lisa and I also see that there's things that I just haven't learned about her yet. You know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. 
man, like it's real, man. It's real. Like it's, awesome. it, it, it's that's one thing I can really say is that you know I I, I didn't even expect it to be this real. Mm -hmm. And you know, so now the biggest challenge is what when all this is gone. All this, right? Right. Can we make it work? Right. The brand I know is a <laughs> ladies' man, but feels like you really kind of found the one. This is great, man. I'm happy for you guys, and hopefully it all all works out. I can even look at her and I can tell that she hasn't been appreciated in the past. Okay. Recently passed and passed, passed before I even never <laughs> seen well, her. She will be appreciated now then. <laughs> oh, he's made sure of that. I like that. Why is he still single? I think he has wanted to focus on his band. And I, I guess one concern could be he can be a hard person to keep up with. I like him a lot. Like I have like crazy feelings for him. Yeah. Um, so it's always a risk. Lindsay's concerns with Alex's lifestyle, they make a lot of sense to me. I've been on tour with Alex. I know what that lifestyle is like. But meeting Lindsay today, she seems exactly like what I would want for him. You're not even 25. You're about to hit the prime of your life. You're just topping off in your modeling career. This is like a whole commitment. There's something about her. I love every moment with this girl. It's almost perfect, 100%. If this is what I'm saying can last, this is nice that it's all worked out and you're talking and stuff like that, but the hard times. Yeah. Holding your temper. Hmm. You know, God knows what's going to affect you or if you're in pain or... Oh, I know. You know, the PTSD and everything else that you're dealing with. And it chokes me up because I, I do want you to be happy. My dad's opinion means a lot to me. He's always been my rock. He's always been my guide. He more or less just wants to make sure I know that, you know, I'd really regret screwing it up. I'm going to send her in here. All right. Try not to grill her too hard. No, no, no. <laughs> Love you, dude. Love you, too, buddy. What questions do you have? He's told me about um, his time in the military. And do you see areas that he's still maybe is healing from with Well, I think, I think anybody that has gone through that mm -hmm. will always continue to heal. It's a process that'll be forever. Yeah. He has a temper. Uh -huh. Obviously, BT's been through a lot, and there are times where it can be, you know, hard for him to deal with, and that's a lot of pressure. Seeing my dad meant the world to me. He's seen me through the worst. He's seen me rock bottom. And so it was soothing, comforting. And it was just really hard to just see him for a little bit. I went to my room because I was tired and because I was upset that my dad had left and I just wanted some time alone. He's the only one I truly had throughout my entire recovery. Just having somebody that knows me and has been there, it's everything to me. <laughs> Your cousin came in, bro, and you were like, yeah. hey, man, it was good to see you. Yeah, it was good to see my cousin. I mean, absolutely. You know, I, I was very, you know, happy for, you know, that TC got to meet him. Ashley had a sister here, and she looked just like me as well. The blonde bombshell. Just to see her, I was like, I just feel like it was like a fresh breath of air. And what do you think, babe? Oh, oh, well, I don't have anybody here. Where is he? <laughs> um, BT went into this mood. I haven't seen him since. We just had like this great day, and it's like, where are you? My feelings are hurt that he's just MIA. I just don't get it. It's interesting. Like, I feel like we're either really good or it's like, what's going on? It felt so real bringing these other people in our lives yeah. in. Paul, from the moment we sat down, was grilling the <laughs> out of me. Oh my gosh, <laughs> like that's crazy. Hardcore firing questions up. I want to like him. I want to be able to chill with my girl's brother and have yeah. beers. And, and it just wasn't a friendly conversation. I really do care about Lisa, and I really wish that my time with her brother went a little better. I'm afraid of her family kind of treating me a, a little bit like her brother treated me. There needs to be some conclusion here. 
that all of us leave here with. Did we find love or did we not find love? And the way that I'm answering that question is like, like, like right now, I don't know. Yeah, Taylor's a sweetheart, you know? Yeah. I don't know, I think, like, if I'm honest with you, I think my friend Taylor will always say, after I say, oh, so I'm talking to this guy, blah, 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 she'll go, okay, is he Christian? And I'll right. be like, well, he's, and she'll go, Alex, you have to find someone who is on the exact same page as you, because you never do, and then in five months you call me bawling because this guy broke your heart, because all these things started building up, it was a bunch of friction, and, like, they couldn't understand what you needed or were looking for. You know, I, if I keep meeting people in my life who are, like, they have a pattern of being something like they were like not what I believe in or whatever and then they all break my heart like I can't say that's the reason why no I'm not saying you're missing what I'm saying what I'm saying is like to move forward when you don't have the same faith-based principles and the things that you're looking for in the future it's like you're not seeing eye to eye we have compatibility in pretty much every single way except for religion but there are so many things that i like about jeff you know and now i have a lot of things that i need to think about at dinner they asked couples you know how their day went and stuff mm. well she could have easily came and got me would have been easy enough i need my pops and uh got about brief of a time, I don't know, not enough. So you were just like, I'm not about your dad and that's it though? I don't know what you want me to say or what you want me to do. No, it is I, what it I don't is. want you to say or do anything, I just, I just I don't. am who I am, I react how I react. And that's just all there is to it, I mean. Yeah, it was great seeing my dad, but I mean, <sighs> what else do you want from me? I wanted more time, that's it. I just was. Just ask. I'm just opening up conversation about it. That's it. Gotcha. I see things that bother him. And it's like in those moments where I, I can see him getting angry, I can't fix those for him. And that's the scary thing is like he gets so fixated on the negative versus the good things around it. Do you think I should feel that way about like seeing my sister and stuff though? Like you think? Mm -hmm. No, you can like, feel was, whatever way you want. Like, I was excited to see her and I was like, oh, that's good. Like that's. Mm, I see it differently. She can't just, like, let me be me. She wants to change me and make me, like, happy-go-lucky like she is 24-7, and it's not going to happen. I don't think we'll ever really see eye to eye on all this stuff, to be honest with you. We have different takes on it. Do you think we're going to have different takes on, like, other things, though? Because of just different personalities? <clears throat> I mean, I, I can't read the future. I can't say. I, we live entirely different lives. She hasn't struggled that much. And so everything to her is like peaches and cream, like everything's hunky-dory, and that's not life. For me, you know, when I'm down in the dumps, like I don't want somebody telling me how I'm wrong. Be my cheerleader, you know, have my back. And that's just all there is to it. I feel like there's two sides to you sometimes. I'm not going to be judged by this situation. I love anybody. I'm not judging you. I'm not judging you. There's just a part of me that just like, wants to be there for him. But like, I don't know where you draw the line. Like, I don't know if I can deal with feeling like there's two different people. Like, maybe I can't be the one to help him. this morning and I am exhausted. BT and I have had a fight and it escalated. So I wanted to go talk to Alicia just to make sure that I'm not being crazy because I don't want to make a rash decision. First of all, I think BT is nothing but amazing. But like, I honestly feel like there's two different people. And it's been so like emotionally draining because like, obviously like we as women too, like, I have such a soft heart for everything he's gone through, but he's got anger issues and he has a temper. He needed 
to be with a woman like you who's going to mm -hmm. just nurture and love and pray for him because mm -hmm. that's you know that post-traumatic stress disorder is real and i'm here for that you are. but i'm getting lost in the midst of it in my mind i'm like is he gonna make me suffer and like that i feel that like i feel that i don't want to go home and have me be the one that gets like beaten down and lost like i, I can't do that he needs to see this I don't, I don't, like, this is the thing, like, I don't want to bring up because I don't want to hurt him. I don't want, like, it's a... You can't be afraid of, you know, hurting him at the expense of you being hurt. You can't get hurt. I don't think that he will see that, though. I think he'll, like, be like, you're full of I respect BT, and, you know, I, obviously, who, who wouldn't mm -hmm. for what he's been through, what he's endured. Mm -hmm. But I love you more. Mm -hmm. I was very surprised to hear the news today that she's like having really deeper thoughts and issues and concerns. If BT doesn't receive how Ashley feels, I'll be devastated for them because everyone here is rooting for them. I just want to see where he's at and just, just to see what he's feeling and I'm going to just, I'm going to let him talk. We all agreed upon going to the beach to enjoy this time with the couples and with TT. I think this is actually amazing. That looks real nice. It was just as if, um, you know, we were little kids playing in the sand, <laughs> jumping in the ocean. <laughs> and just enjoying the waves. T is that one who I feel like we can grow together. I feel as if, you know, I'm really starting to fall for TT and I want to make it work. But does she feel in the same way I feel or does she feel like I'm not the right one for her? Did you have fun? Yeah, I did. Yeah, that was in the spot. Woo, that was in the spot. I came here looking for a tall Italian man from New York, then. And you found a tall Jewish man from Chicago. I found a short <laughs> Jew from Chicago. <laughs> Not short. Lisa is that sexy bad girl that every guy wishes they could have. Emotionally, though, she's still very young. And I don't know that Lisa and I work in real life yet. picture myself being with someone like BT and I don't want to give up on that so even though we don't have everything figured out right now I still want to fight for the chance to make it work from here on out what's going on up there nothing I just it was two o'clock I just said come down and say hi Alicia's up there and she was like are you okay I said you and I hadn't had a chance to talk and we had talked a little bit last night and we're gonna finish chatting today so was that what was gonna happen you made me feel like I was crazy yesterday with what you said. No matter how you said you placed it, like, I can read between the lines, and that sucks. I wish you all could live one day of one of my worst. The heartache, the pain, the loss, the loneliness. You all would understand where I'm coming from. You judge me based off of everybody else, and I'll tell you what, I'm not like anybody here. I'm an outcast, and I felt like an outcast since I first got here. From day one. It makes me really sad that you feel that way. Because I sit there and I say, there's no way. I said, I can't even wrap my brain around what he's been through. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it's, a bit, it's, it's, it's the situations like last night. It's not about what you tell me. Yes, you told me wonderful things, and I've said wonderful things to you. If you and I were to go on in life, like, I, I can't be, res I, I can't, I'll never be able to understand that for you. I can give you more love and care and all that type of stuff that I know how to give, but I'm not a vet. Like, I can't understand. But, and I haven't waited till marriage, and I can't quite understand that. But you know what? I'm going to do my 150% effort to understand where you're coming from, and I'll give you that respect because I respect you for that. That's all I ask. I never questioned that once. And, and that's kind of what I meant last night is that we come from different backgrounds. So you can look at every situation and be all uh, happy, go lucky, and positive, and I'm not the same way. And, and I'm sorry, but if that like bothers you, then obviously there's a problem here. Well, you're nice. bothered by me equally.
clearly. <laughs> Done with it. I'm willing to do what I need to be there for someone. I'm a fighter, but I don't want to be mistreated along the way. It's so sad. Maybe I need somebody who maybe a struggle a bit more. Maybe I need somebody who can understand where I'm coming from a little bit more. I know my worth. I know what I'm looking for. I know what I deserve. At the end of the day, I, I don't feel I'm in the wrong here. I don't deserve that. Sorry. I can't win. I can't not win with them. It doesn't even matter what I say. I know. Really, totally fine. <laughs> Thank you. I do care about him more than I've cared about anybody in my life. But I'm just done. <laughs> my brain honestly is so fried from trying to figure him out and figure us out. I feel like I'm just going numb. All I know is that I have to get out of that situation immediately to clear my mind. We got a misunderstanding and oh, okay. I'm the type, you know. Was it after last night? Yeah. She felt like a little bit of, um, she didn't have her, her rock there. And uh, you, by far the, the biggest rock in this house when it comes to a man's experiences. When you are a leader, you are a, you know, a man's man, like, it's hard to let go of that pride. Right. It it's is. Real hard. It is. But, you know, I had to put my pride to side yeah, several times. I had to figure out how sensitive TT was. But it's so easy for us to give up yeah. in that sense. I think coming down to the wire, too, it just put that added pressure, you know? I know. Yeah. You got to lift yourself up you gotta be the and rock create that energy and give it to her. Player and then, you know, talk it out and make it work. I want to apologize to her and just tell her. I lost kind of sight of what this was all about. At the end of the day, it's about Ashley and it's about me and, and that's all that really matters. This is the ultimate fight. It's either you can make it happen or you can't. I get a text from BT and he says, Hey, will you please just talk to me? But I know that I'm ready to go home. And so I text Terrence so I can have a chat with him, let him know what's going on. just got your text. Yeah? Yeah. No matter how attractive the idea is of staying in, like, a super passionate romantic relationship, like, that for me, like, if you stay, like, it'll, it'll lock you in. What happened? You know, it's funny, because, like, there have been, like, some problems along the way, and I haven't talked about them, but he gets very angry very quickly, and it never has to do with me, but it always affects me. I think that, like, I care about him so much. But there's some areas, like, I just know that I can't help him with. Yeah. Um, how would you like to handle this now? You know, BT texted me and asked if we could have a conversation, and um, I would definitely be open to that. You seem like you, you've been through a lot. Yeah. We'll go grab BT, give you a minute to, you know, collect yourself. But, you know, just remember, if you're not happy, mm -hmm. then you gotta do what's best for you. And don't let any outside influence change that, mm -hmm. you know? I'll bring him here. Okay. Okay, hold tight, I'll okay. go get him. Thanks. Am I making the right choice? Am I just doing something out of frustration and hurt? You just need to take a deep breath. It's difficult. Thank you.
viewer discretion is advised. What's up, what's up? What up, Terrence? How you, you gotta talk to me, huh, Terrence? Yeah, you All right, let's do it. in yep. private? I just spoke with Ashley. OK. Uh, she wanted to talk to you before she left. OK. Is that cool? Yeah, appreciate it. You want me to walk in on her? Uh, sure. So, yeah, honestly, I thought when she walked off, she just needed some time and should have chased her. I didn't. Hey. Hello. I, uh, I'll leave you two to it. All right. Okay. So you're leaving now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, hundred mm percent. -hmm. Yeah, I felt like we were both at that point. Last night, I was like, he is angry at me, and I don't do Not well when people are situation. angry at me. My pride got in the way, and I couldn't just tell you that. I care about you so much, and I am genuinely sorry for all of this. It's funny how, like, a man's pride um, can make him to feel and seem so tough, and then when it becomes real, um, you know, you realize that it was all just kind of a facade. I was just scared last night. I was scared that, that you wanted nothing more to do with this. I, I got scared and I backed away and I hightailed it out. And that's not what I wanted by any means. I was up for hours last night, you know, thinking about the whole situation and wanting to go into your room, and I just, I didn't. When I feel the other person may be disconnecting a little bit or, you know, any sort of um, negative vibe, I, I back away, and it's out of fear. I'm scared of uh, losing people. So, my uh, my mo, I guess. I just wonder if, like, every conversation that we have, like, from here, or disagreement, if it's going like, to go back to the fact of like not understanding you. There's only one way to find out. I can promise you that it won't. I hear you. But I don't want to be with someone who, like, thinks that by me saying, like, a kind thing or something to encourage them is me, like, not supporting them. Like, it's messes with your brain too much. I have a lot I need to work on. But at the end of the day, I have a, I have a big heart. And I would do anything for you. And I don't want you to leave at all. To see him be soft made me want to stay. It was like the BT that I love so much, like the calm guy who is caring and communicates well. Like that's the BT that I want. But I want that BT all the time, not just 50% of the time. Can you please stay? Please. I just, I do like, I feel it's like, so done. <sighs> just, I just feel like everything is like sucked out of me. Like I don't have anything left to give you. Sucks. I still thought I had a chance. I didn't. Well, I miss you. I miss you too. Sorry for like, I just can't blame you. I wish it was different, but with everything in my heart, I wish this was not happening. But I understand. Okay. We'll see you later. Bye. It was really nice the fact that he said, you know, that. this experience and his time with me for anything and that he had fun with me and like I needed that I needed to hear him say that in order for me to leave with peace so like I, ha I know I had, to, I had to leave like I couldn't even go back and say goodbye to everybody else at the house because I was just that drained <sighs>
of happened out of nowhere. Uh, just being like heartbroken, definitely. <sighs> Should have tried earlier. Hey guys. Hey. So I just went into Ashley's room and all of her stuff is gone. She didn't say bye. Suitcases, shoes, everything. After my conversation with Ashley, I guess I'm not too surprised that she made the decision she did. I understand why she did it quietly. I do. Wow. I didn't expect it to be such a quick decision. I'm wondering if their decision is making any of the other couples here. Question their motives for staying? What scares me the most is just the fact that you never know. BT and Ashley is the most perfect example. We all thought for sure they were going to be leaving here together. I think that it was the whole element of like not really knowing, which is really scaring me right now. Not everything is what it seems. Join me out here. Uh, Tyler, Alicia, everybody, come on out. What's up? Hey, Tar. Hey. How are you guys tonight? Good. 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 Excellent. Good. Wow, this is everyone now. It got a little smaller today. It's been an emotional day, Tar, and to have to be honest yeah. with you. Well, guys, hate to say it, but your time in Anguilla has now come to an end. What? You know, it's crazy when you think about all that we've been through. This entire journey has been about choices, from the chemistry to the compatibility, and now to the final stage, which is commitment. But when you go back home, you're going to have to face real life. There's a lot to think about here. Some of you live on opposite coasts. Some of you have children. Some of you have jobs that you know require a lot of your time. Only you guys can decide what you want. Who really wants to be in a relationship back home? And who really wants to be coupled? This is it. Tomorrow, you guys will make your final choice. All right, you guys ready for the next phase? Absolutely. I need everyone to stand up, please. Ladies, to my left. Gentlemen, to my right. This is it. Tonight, you will not be spending it with each other. For some of you, it will be the last time you ever see each other again. And for others, this will be the beginning of your happily ever after. All right, guys, so this is how it's going to work, all right? In the morning, there'll be a helicopter waiting on the beach. Guys, you'll have the chance to go down to the beach first, to wait at the helicopter for your lady. If your lady's interested in making that commitment and taking things further with you back home, she'll meet you down at your chopper, and you two can ride off happily ever after. Now, if your lady doesn't want to commit, she won't show up at the chopper. We'll have a boat waiting for you ladies that'll take you back home single. Fellas, the same goes for you. If you're not interested in being coupled, simply board the helicopter and it'll take off before the ladies show up. When it comes to Alex's feelings and where her mind is at right now, that's something I just don't know and it's bothering me. I can't even read her face. That's a very nerve-wracking position to be in. Gentlemen, come with me. Ladies, I'll see you soon. It feels weird not being able to have that final conversation. What do you all think? That's like Alex and I's first night not together in like 30 days. I know. You know, Terrence really elaborated on having a commitment. I've had my moments where I've questioned if Alex is really, really ready. So I think if I walk down to the helicopter and Alex isn't there, I'll be crushed. <sighs> OK, we can all hope for the best if that's what we truly want, you know? 
I just have a lot of thoughts going through my head right now. And me and Brandon have had our ups and downs more than the other couples. So, you know, I think I really need to think about my real life back at home and will Brandon fit into that. Lisa, are you okay? Yeah. I just wish that it was like something that we could have talked about together before making the decision. Maybe it's like a fear of rejection. It feels so final, like it scares me that like I may not see him again. Well, shoot. <laughs> this is unbelievable, man. Does anybody know what they're going to do right now? Oh, yes. I'm, I'm saying yes. What do you mean? I'm not taking off. Yeah, I'm staying. Yeah, she likes me for sure. I like it a lot. Go for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How you feeling, Ben? I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, I really do like Lisa, and I do feel like we're compatible. But I don't know if I'm ready to be fully committed. But I want my next girlfriend to be the one that I marry. So, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I know me and TT, you know, we've been through it all. But it's still a scary situation. You just never know until you know. This can be the end uh, for me and TT. It's just like, whoa, what is, what is TT going to do? Is she feeling the same way I feel, or does she feel like I'm not the right one for her? TT not showing up to the helicopter has my mind racing. You know, it's been a long day for me, so I'm going to just catch some Z's, man. Thank I'll see y'all later, man. I would be lying if I didn't say that I'm kind of questioning myself, wondering if, if I'm ready for this. I've been with a good amount of women. I've been this, like, single dude, and I don't know what it's like to be a boyfriend. And that is a scary thing, especially for a guy that hasn't made a commitment in, in so long. I don't know if I'm going to be at the helicopter or not. I think it's good, though, that we have, like, a, like a night to, like, miss each other and oh, to, like, sure. really think yeah. about this, you know? Mm -hmm. Do you know what you're going to do? Maybe it scares you to not know what he's going to do? Do you think Jeffrey's going to fly away without you and you're not going to go down? I just feel I've tried to have several conversations with him. And we still see very, very differently on, on faith. But then Jeffrey was romantic and, and treated me like a princess and so respectful towards women and just, I don't know, I've never met anyone like him. Yeah. I have no idea what's going to happen with Jeffrey and I. Like, I don't know if I want to walk down to the beach and meet Jeffrey at the helicopter at this point. I didn't get much sleep last night because I had a hard decision in front of me. Terrence told us these potential choices I need to make. The first one being that I could just go to the helicopter myself and take off. And if that happens, I'll never get to see Lisa again. The second option is that I go down to the helicopter and I wait like a schmuck and Lisa doesn't show up. And then the third option is that I wait for Lisa at the helicopter, and Lisa comes down to see me. And we live happily ever after, coupled. At this point in time, I want my next girlfriend to be the one that I end up marrying. And I think that in a fairy tale world, Lisa and I will keep going on. but I don't know if we work in real life yet. The way that Lisa has lived her life, she hasn't really been very independent. And at this point in time, I don't know if I want to carry someone through. 
I need a partner in crime. It's a big decision. This is definitely the most anxious I felt throughout this whole experience. I am just so emotional because I don't know if Ben will be at the helicopter waiting for me or is he gone. No doubt about it, we are entirely compatible. We get along so well. We see eye to eye on so many different things. Like, I feel like we are meant to be together and I want to leave here with him. Like, I want more time to explore this outside of this fantasy bubble. I want to see how we are in real life. But who knows if he feels that way right now. I'm so nervous. The whole element of like not really knowing if Ben is there waiting for me is really scaring me right now. If Ben isn't there, I will be crushed. Honestly, so relieved. My heart just like drops, but in a good way. It was one of those, you know, moments in time that just kind of stopped as if nothing else was around us. And it's because she really cares about me. Hi. <laughs> and you look so good. We match. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Thank you. Are you ready to go on an adventure with me? I am. It's good. I was afraid of taking a risk, and I don't know what's in store for Lisa and I, but what makes me confident in my decision is knowing that Lisa is a strong, confident woman who makes me laugh, and I could be in love with Lisa. Crap, I really, really like Alicia a lot. Me and Alicia have been on the same page since day one. I feel like every day that we're together in Anguilla is a blessing, and I don't want them to end. Love can get you, man. It sneaks up on you, and it caught me off guard big time. No doubt I'm gonna see her walking down to the helicopter before the blades spin. It's gonna be a beautiful moment and I'm excited for it. I have nothing to worry about. meeting with Terrence last night, we all realized how serious this decision today is. Tyler's a wonderful man. 
He's someone that I wasn't expecting to develop these feelings for. But he's also, you know, in a place in his life where he has a lot of growing up to do. The next man I give my heart to is going to be my husband someday. So I'm standing by the helicopter, and uh, I'm looking up the stairs, getting ready to see her. And uh, I am 100% positive she's coming down. It's all about our choices today. I'm deciding to get on the boat and leave here single. I do not regret the decision that I've made. The old Alicia would have just said, why not get in that helicopter and fly off into the sunset? That'd be the pageant, fairy tale, uh, whatever, but I don't need to prove anything to anyone. I know 10 years from now, he's going to be an exceptionally perfect husband and even more ideal father. I can't wait 10 years. I'll be 40 in 10 years. <laughs> When those helicopter blades started turning, that's when I knew it was it. She wasn't coming home with me. I made myself vulnerable on this experience, and I don't regret it. It just hurts. I just want to throw up from how sick it, how sick it makes me feel. Like, it's, like, almost disgusting. Because it was so real for me, and I thought it was really real for her. It was all too good to be true. Since the very beginning I met her, I said she's almost too perfect, her words are too perfect, everything she says is like it's a pageant. She is a princess, and uh, I treated her like one. I respected her in so many freaking ways, not even funny. Absolutely got played. This is worth getting It's a very big day. I haven't seen Alex since last night, ever since we were separated, and I have no idea what she's thinking. I have a lot of emotions running through my mind, my body, my heart, and it's, it's a pretty crazy and nerve-wracking position to be in right now. But at the same time, when you're taken away from someone you care about, you, you can tend to long for them and realize what you had. We've come so far in such a short period of time, so I would love to continue to explore and see where things go with her. I think I've made it very clear about my feelings for her, and um, if she doesn't show up to the helicopter, that means she doesn't want to continue the relationship, and it would make me upset if I wasn't able to see her again.
One of the biggest concerns with me and Alex is mainly religion, and I think I'm more lenient when it comes to faith in general because I'm open to a person's heart. But, you know, maybe love will win. It is so surreal that this is the last day. I am so nervous and I'm just feeling so overcome with emotions about this decision. Jeffrey is the best guy, but we have a difference in faith. And I definitely have doubts, like, am I being too picky? Are my standards too high? You know, that makes me nervous about what my decision is gonna be and am I making the right decision? I just kept staring at the steps. I couldn't do anything else but that, and I couldn't help but wonder, is she really gonna show up? Is she really gonna show up? It, it felt like I was there for an hour. You have flowers, of course. <laughs> you look so nice. Thank you, you look beautiful as always. Mm. You look really, really nice. You look great. Um, so good to see you. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Um, so, I think you know that you are the most incredible man that I've ever met in my entire life. Like, when I started this experience, I don't think I knew exactly what I needed. And you have shown me the way that I deserve to be treated by a man. I've never been treated um, as well as you've treated me. And your son has so much to look up to. And I know that you are such an incredible dad. And th there is so many things about you that I love. And um, I just feel like I don't think that I should leave with you. I want somebody that can move with me in the next couple years and, and bounce around and you have a child and I would feel so guilty like having you move to help my career and all this stuff when yeah. you have a kid in the mix and yeah. you know and our beliefs aren't exactly the same and I've learned so much from you but like at the end of the day there are still some things that I know that I do need that I won't compromise on. I came here really wanting to find someone and I was hoping Jeffrey was the one and I think he thought maybe I could be the one and we were very very hopeful but I just knew in my heart he is the perfect guy just not the perfect guy for me. I'm really glad that you came first off because it would have eaten me up inside to have just left in the, in the helicopter not knowing. So um, we came together in such a short period of time, but it escalated fast, and we had this incredible connection. And I'm so happy that I can make you happy. And um, I think we both know we obviously have differences, but I can tell you everything that I did, it was for you. Not because I thought it was the right thing to do, it's because I just wanted to put a smile on your face. That's because you're such a great guy. <laughs> I always care about you. Thank you. Thank you, I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> Okay. Right. Bye. Bye. I did come to Anguilla to find love, and um, I didn't find it. You know, it hurt. It's kind of like a stab in the heart, and um, it sucked. Honestly, for a lack of a better better word, is it, it sucked. I saw the possibility of me and Alex having a relationship after this. We had a great time with, with one another. We communicated amazingly. We connected more than we thought we would. She's not willing to, to budge for any other religion, and I completely respect that.
told Jeffrey that it wasn't gonna work out. He really is so incredible and it just sucks. I wanted to go off in the helicopter with the love of my life. But sometimes God's plan isn't your plan. some self-doubt. I met a great girl in Lindsay, but I've been single for so long and it makes me a little uneasy. When you're on tour, it's a different world. So I think my biggest fear is kind of like adjusting to that and like figuring out how my life is gonna change. Having the weight of Lindsay's heart in my hands is not a responsibility that I'm used to. And, you know, there's a chance that we're going to be riding off together, and there's a chance that I never see this girl again. I've been nervous all along of Alex's age and really figuring out, you know, does Alex really, truly want a committed, solid relationship? I fall hard for people and, you know, sometimes it's hurt me in the past because I kind of give my heart too quickly. When I find somebody that I really like to be around, like, I give them everything. I'm a hopeless romantic. Like, in my head, this fairy tale is there. But at the same time, like, it's scary to get hurt again. You know, and I hope that doesn't happen. I hope this is our happy ending and, you know, we can go back home and have a, a true, really solid relationship. I want to be in love so bad and I just would be totally crushed and heartbroken if Alex wasn't down there at the helicopter. single for five years. I'm excited about getting back to California with Lindsay and, and really to give it a shot. Like, that is 100% the case, and I'm so stoked about that. I can't fight it off. I can't fight it off. All the synergy coming It's dripping off. Oh, my God. To be able to go home at the end of this in a great relationship with an amazing guy, who I have true feelings for. I would never have expected that in a million years. sleep last night you know I had to be real with myself the time that I spent here with TT has been you know a great experience even though we had our ups and downs I felt as if you know what if I go ahead and get on the helicopter alone I will be losing her and it just came to the point where last night you know I said you know what I want to make it work TT 
TT makes me a better man. Anytime you have a woman who can make you happy, make you laugh, and you still can learn about yourself from her, I think that's the ultimate woman. She does decide to commit to me, and we do decide to make this work in real life. I'm gonna show her nothing but love, and I'm gonna be there for her. And if we're on the same page, I believe the sky's the limit. But in the back of my mind, the fact that I didn't get to express those feelings and thoughts to her, it could be a possibility where I'm willing to give my all and she's not. And I will be heartbroken. This is a big decision. It's almost like a fairy tale being here. Like, is this really real life? It's a big deal for me to make it outside of here back at home and, and take that next step. But the reality is we've had a lot of differences and we haven't even touched the real world yet. So if I want to be with Brandon and I want to make this commitment with him, I'm going to head down to the beach. And if I don't, then I'm going to go to the boat and go home alone. Even though we had strong feelings for each other, watching those stairs at the moment is pretty nerve-wracking right now. It's just like, whoa, what is, what is TT gonna do? I don't know what I'll do if she doesn't want to continue this relationship. I'm preparing for the worst. Me so nervous. I didn't know whether or not you were, you know, gonna come out or not because of what we've been through. But it's been an amazing experience with you. Like since the beginning, you made me feel so good. You know, I know we've been through our ups and downs. You know, I know everything hasn't been perfect, but there's no one else who I would rather go through those moments with than you. You know, I just want you to know that, you know, your voice is heard with me. You know, I'm here for you. I just want nothing but happiness between us. And this is a commitment. And I just want you to know that I love you. I haven't felt that strong about a woman in a long time. I can officially say that I love you and I'm willing to make this work. Are you willing to make it work? Duh, do you have to ask? <laughs> I love you too. Yeah. Happy to hear that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm nervous. <laughs> you look beautiful. Thank you. First time seeing your hair straight. <laughs> you look amazing. When she came down in that red, I just seen stars. Felt just like, you know, love is standing right there. And, you know, that's how I feel right now. I feel like I'm, I'm in love with TT. And that's very rare for me to say. Now, you know, it's up to us to just make it work. How long, how long You show up here After all these years of Hold me now It's a green light shining It's calling my name right Oh, swing round And the daylight comes to break Take me away The one thing that 
was pivotal for me making my decision was thinking back to those disagreements we had when I didn't like him necessarily in those moments or I was upset at him. But the fact that I still missed him, that's how I knew what we have is real and my feelings for him are real and I can't picture my life without Brandon in it. I honestly feel like the luckiest woman ever and I'm gonna love you forever, so, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Same here. I am the luckiest man yeah? alive. Today I'm officially the luckiest man alive. Yeah. <laughs>